What's up now, friends? And welcome to the video. It is Wednesday. Jenny's coming. I'm gonna film her now, so I'm gonna set up my camera. I'm gonna clean up my desk a little. It's just not super clean. And yeah, I'm excited to see Jenny. Um, so, Jenny wanted something like this. Um, they're kind of like blush center. I actually don't, I don't know if my camera will be able to show, but I'll pop up what it is right here. It's kind of like the blush center. So I'm just gonna do like a plain ombre nail and then this goes on top of like pigment. Cool, I will do that soon. Okay, so I just found all this camera gear I was looking for. A microphone, um, another battery pack, and then I've been looking for this macro lens, whoops. And then I'm actually trying to find pigment in one of these. But it's not like they're not super messy, it's just a messy. It's just a little glitter everywhere. Right after Mark cleaned up. I'm just gonna love that. Ah, pigments. See? I want these out. Now. These are from Magpie Beauty. Oh, I even have this. Oh, this is so old. Black chrome. Cool. Lots of stuff in here. I haven't gone through my stuff in a while. Really should. I will be. This is what I was looking for. Look at the coral and the pink, I think. Oh, shoot. Uh. These look great. Yeah, they did. I got so many compliments on them. Yeah. Did lots of people watch your video? I just posted it. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think so. I don't actually know. Okay, so Jenny is um, done. That set turned out really cute. I'm really happy about it. Um, I do have some online work to do right now, so I'm gonna work on that. Yeah, and Teddy is napping. That's what I'm doing today. I just scratched my finger so hard. Ow! That hurts so much. <laughs> I like skinned myself. Okay, when I say I'm doing computer work, so I'm posting reels to Facebook. So Facebook is like YouTube. You can monetize and post and make money. So I'm slowly doing reels. Reels you have to post um, individually. So I have to do one at a time, which is super annoying. Hello friends, it's Packing Papa here. Jeez, I haven't had a chance to do anything with my hair, so excuse it, please. Yeah, Looking good inside here, eh? Yeah, no more packing for us. Oh my gosh, it's Friday. He's such a nice day out. Look. So nice. Anyways, it's messy in here. I have work to do. It's Friday, since it's Friday. Um, I'm gonna do some work before Teddy 
goes for his nap. Ugh, I have to clean that door still. Yeah, and Teddy was in here messing up my stuff right there. Actually, he was just placing it in a nice, in a nice row. So these are the pigments from my Pie Beauty. I really, really like these pigments. I think I'm gonna post that video before my other art ink video, because I really like that video. So right now I have some um, filming to do for glitter bells. That's what I'm doing this morning, because my nails are done. They're just like a, I did these four glitter bells. They're just like an ombre, a plain ombre, and then I polished them on top. So I'm gonna do some polishing videos. And yeah, let's watch some uh, Office. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna spend about an hour doing that, and I'll put Teddy for now. But I'm gonna be listening to a podcast. It's actually gonna be over. It's actually almost over. So yeah, anyways, that's what I'm doing today. For example, a gas card. Can't put. been working on is swatching <laughs> so I did the tops of these bottles and now I'm working in the drawers so I got all of these colors done and then I'm gonna start with the glitters so they're just sitting and drying right now okay so that's what the swatches look like half my pink drawer. So it's only half the glitter swatches, so I still have to continue, but Teddy's about to get up from his nap. And then I accidentally swatched a purple one, so I'll put that away. But, yep, yeah, so now I'm just gonna keep my swatches here for me to be able to. And my color is better. And I still have this side of my pink stuff to do. And then we get into oranges. I can't believe Teddy's still sleeping. That's insane. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, the second. Um, it's such a nice day out. Teddy is napping. I don't normally sit and chill. I usually just jump to work. However, it's so nice out. I just want to enjoy it for a little bit. So I'm now we're gonna get some work done. Uh, what did I do today? My husband is fishing, and um, so it's just me and Teddy. I took him to my grandma's, which was nice. I love seeing my grandma. She's great. And then I also took him to the park and we went shopping. So we have a busy morning. So he is now during, doing his little day nap during the day. And um, I'm gonna get my social media work done while he naps. I made a tea even though it's hot out. I love drinking warm drinks. So I'm trying to drink less coffee, like actual coffee caffeine. Just cause you know, it's dehydrating, blah, blah, blah. And you know. I was drinking way too much coffee. When sleep deprivation hit 
hard. Like four months to 20 months. Um, I was drinking, I'm not joking when I say five cups of coffee a day. I'm cutting my coffee down now, finally, um, because I am not as sleep deprived. <laughs> I finally got him on like a consistent like schedule for bed. So I'm feeling a lot better with sleep. You guys probably will notice my energy will rise. If you want, it's funny to like watch back my own old videos. You can like see like <laughs> when I got pregnant, how crappy I felt. And like, you can like see it in the videos. <laughs> like I was like, I looked like I was like not feeling good. And then after a Teddy, you could see the sleep deprivation in my eyes. And then nail throne, you could see the stress in my face, but it's up from there, you know, nail throne's closed and it's only up from here. Like it's gotta be. I uploaded a YouTube video yesterday and it was trying the uh, Jenny's nails that I did earlier in this vlog, uh, try, trying the Korean blush nails trend. And they're doing pretty good on YouTube. Um, so yeah, you guys should check it out. I went really detailed in that video about how to do it with that matte top coat and how to make the nails less bulky and stuff like that. So I put a lot of info into that video, so you should check it out. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work done. Say hi to Halo, everyone. So, Halo, say hi. Since we upped Halo's meds, he's feeling a little better. Yay. My sweet, sweet, sweet boy. We're getting some posts done. I'm gonna eat a salad and just chill for a bit. I don't really do that very often, but I'm off, technically off today. So I'm gonna do that. woke up for a bit but I got him back up. Cleaning out my top drawer. These are my chromes. I have this really pretty new one from Red Iguana. Can't wait to give it a try. Um, it's like a rose gold pink. It's called pink but it, yeah I guess it's kind of like a blush pink. But anyways I'm gonna start organizing things a lot more. So my colored flakes. Oh, I forgot I had this. Platinum rose gold, ooh. I can't wait to go through all these. These were kind of like just smushed inside that drawer, hidden. So I have my clear flakes, my actual chrome powders, and then my colored flakes. So that's kind of what I'm doing. As I said, this drawer isn't a tidy, a tidy drawer. Now that Nail Throne's closed, I have a ton of these that I didn't sell out of or anything. I forgot I bought these. Oh, these were so cool. See, I hate when I don't have stuff out. You might wonder why I have it so unorganized, considering I'm a nail tech. But it's because I took, it's because I took two years, or two years like not off of nails, but I took a big break where I didn't see like actual clients. I just saw friends and filmed and stuff. So I wasn't seeing clientele. I had no reason to have it organized for myself to find products. I should always keep it organized, it's easier. But I didn't. <laughs> I was focusing on my business, nail form. Um, so yeah. Ooh, see, I got like the new unicorn powder from Red Iguana. And now I'm gonna have powder all over my hands and face all day for the rest of the day. But at least I will know where all this sparkly stuff is. Got lots of these super beautiful get buffed nails. Flakies. Ooh, looks like Teddy's actually getting up now. So I'll talk to you guys later. I bet.
you shut that? Bye. Bye. Where are you going? Hey guys, it's Friday. I have a client. She wants an interesting color combination. Green, white, and yellow. I saved a bunch of ideas on my phone to show her, see what she's interested in. Because that's kind of a hard combination, right? Like green, yellow, and white. I don't know. So I saved some ideas to show her. We'll see which one or what kind of idea she's down for. She's pretty easygoing. <laughs> pretty easygoing and chill. So it's actually kind of cold. It's weird how it went from like super nice to super rainy. Come on. Hi. Hello. Oh, you wash your hands. How was your trip? Oh, thank you! <laughs> oh my god, you're the best. Thank you so much. <gasps> that looks so good. Can I show my um, my people on my vlog? Sure. Cool. My client got a new tattoo. Look how cool it is. Did it hurt? <clears throat> okay, so yellow, green, and, and what made you think of that? I don't know. I was like, green and with some yellow. I like maybe some white in there. <laughs> okay, so these are just this is an abstract idea, just like a white base with like art, yeah. and then that that's like different nails, abstract. I kind of liked that this is green and yellow, and then there's like a white nail with like green and yellow and yeah. leopard print. Not so much. I like the colors. It's kind of like the coloring. That's like you were thinking, like bright. Yes. I was thinking, I like I like the flow of not the yellow thing coming down. But I like the colors and the flow of like the half and half. This nail's like got crystals on it. This nail's got, you know what I mean? Right. I like like the flow of that. Um, I don't know why, I like, this is so cool. I kept seeing this online and I was like, hmm. hmm. It's kind of like marble, but like really different on each finger. Yeah. More yellow, with just greenery. And that's like, got like some glitter and solids. And then this one I thought was kind of cool. She's got both hands different. So it made me think of you because I was like, yes. hands different. I always do enjoy seeing yeah. the hands different. So then like this color is yeah. different, but this flow? Something like and that. And then I could do both hands slightly different. You can do them different. I like the bright colors. Okay, I've got an idea, I think. Highlighter green, like these and these glitters. So I'm going to do a removal and then a full new set for you guys. It's fine. Can't wait to film that. So I have a busy day today. I'm going to pull out my nail files. So I've got for my metal file board refills, 150s. I'm going to also have a 180 and a 240. These are all disposable. They're all garbage after the client. We do not reuse files. Um, yeah, my client is coming at 8, so super early, but that's okay because Teddy was up at today so whatever I'm up anyway clients can come whenever and then always make sure you score your files which is taking another file and going over your file so you don't cut your client so my client was actually supposed to be in last week but then had to cancel and then we've been juggling to try to get her back in um, so her nails are in rough shape she sent me a picture of what she wanted like a while ago so I don't know if she still wants this but I'll show you guys what it was I hope she does because I love Rose gold. I haven't got to do something like that in a while. So like rose gold and clouds. We'll see. We'll see. I also have a package to show you guys soon from Get Buff Nail. So I'll open this later on camera. A PR package. So I think it's nail bits because they asked me what I wanted and I said nail bits. <laughs> I also wanted to talk about 
freaking Facebook. Um, they restricted my monetization for nudity when I post nail art and I have proof and now I don't get to make any money at all on Facebook because they made a mistake and they haven't fixed it and it's been a week and it was supposed to only be a week. I don't understand what happened. Um, I don't even post nudity. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, so in a week I've made, uh... In a week I've made 20 bucks because they limited, uh, they stopped letting me make any money. Absolutely ridiculous. I contacted my client, she said yes, she still wants something like this. So, the perfect glitter, I think, is Glitter Balls Love, no, Kitty Crush. Should be, or is it Lily Crush? Lily Crush? Yeah. It is. Oh, so hard to tell on my camera, but it's the nicest glitter. I'm so excited. Then I need Crystal AB. So this is how the set turned out. I removed her nails and did a new set. And yeah, they turned out so pretty. I did film this and I already have it uploaded to YouTube. So make sure you guys check it out and let me know what you think. Super sunny and nice, but I'm still cold, so I probably don't just sweat. Okay, so that took three hours to do my client's nails, which makes sense. They're extra long, and I had to do a removal. I have another client coming for a fix in an hour. I put Teddy down for a nap, so Teddy's napping. Mark's grocery shopping for dinner. Um, and then I'm gonna work until my client comes. She's the one that has the white nail set. So I'm gonna put away what my other client got and then gather the next client as well as get some work done. Like I said, my Facebook page is demonetized, so I can't make money there. There's no point in working on Facebook. It's been a week and it's still not working, which is super stupid. We are review. oh. I just gotta, oh good. We are reviewing your page to determine if it's able to monetize. Ah, uh, something new. Yeah, I put on like a requested like a review because what the heck. I don't know what happened. It was, it was a set of nails that had eyeballs. Like did it mistake the eyeballs for boobs? Like, I don't know. Hopefully that works out. I really have to sweep now. After seeing my client, because <laughs> the removal is like dust everywhere. I have other clients this week, so I can film more YouTube videos for you guys. Which would be great. It'll be super fun. Um, but I should open up this pure package. This is from Get Buff Nails. When I had nail thrown, I still had a couple shops that would support support me. Um, because a lot of people decided to stop sending me PR, which. Uh, fair, um, but a couple of people continued, which is great. So Get Buff Nails and uh, Red Iguana still sent me PR during owning Nail Throne, but I don't have Nail Throne anymore. These are so cute. Look at these cute little, the packaging has the Get Buffed um, logo and stickers. And then I have a card. They wrote, <laughs> Hope all's well and business is going well for you too. My business closed. Don't know if they know that. It didn't go well. So, but that's okay. I hope theirs does. Um, I hope that their business does super well for them. So, this is the packaging. And yeah, I'm gonna grab my. I like to do an un. I wanna do an unboxing video, kinda, you know? So, I already know basically what it is, but let's just open it anyway. For you guys. We got some new bits. These are my favorite bits that I use. They are 
little unique. This one is great for removing product. This one is great for prep. This is my main prep bit. This one is to get in tight at the cuticle area, also a prep bit. And then this is a ball bit, which you can use for prep or um, when you're finished. Anyways, so this is my favorite little prep bit kit. And that's the cute little kit it comes in. And then I got some brushes too. I Yes, more brushes. These are really, really great brushes for um, art and hand painting. Um, oh, they're so cute. So they are magnetic, which is really cool. You can see that there's a little magnetic. So you can hang them on your, your little light if you need to. Um, I mean, yeah, so these are the brushes. I will open all of them for you guys. Really like their gel brush which is the Florence. It's just got, it's really great. It's uh, something about it. It's like not, it's like really firm. It's not too flexible. So and it's great for when you're trying to get in the cuticle area because sometimes you get a gel brush and it's just way too flexible. But this is actually like the most perfect um, gel application brush. So I got one more of those. Okay, the mini brush is seriously so good for um, hand painting. Like I said, because it's not so stiff, it kind of bounces back easier. Really, really good for doing line work. Um, this is their 3D brush. I really, really, really like their 3D brush. It's a little bit smaller than other brand 3D brushes. Uh, so I find it just gets in there nice and good. Make sure you guys remove all the stuff that's in the bristles. But yeah, it's just a little smaller. For example, this is the Glitter Balls 3D brush. You can see it's larger, so, uh, so sometimes you might want something smaller, and that's what this one is great for. And then we have some more here. Oh yeah, another liner brush. They make, like I said, they make really, really good liner brushes. Great for hand painting. If you guys know who Sarah from Get Buffed is, and you've seen her art, you'll know. You'll know why their brushes are great. And then, oh yeah, I love this brush. This is a great, brush. So there's lots of different ways you can use an angled brush like this. You can use it for cleaning up. You can use it for like cleaning up your line work. You can use it for a lot of things. Like some people will use this kind of brush for, um, what's it called? One stroke art. Lots of reasons to use an angled brush. But yeah, that's what I got from Get Buff Nails. Thank you so much, Get Buff Nails team. And yeah, like I said, this sticks to my, if you have a, if you have a sticky lamp. So yeah, that's cool. That's done. Hey. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? <laughs> Good. Good. My client Chelsea just had a break and she had over a week before I saw her. So she decided to come in just to get that fixed. Just because it's on her middle finger and you know, that's pretty annoying to just leave a broken middle finger. Um, so yeah, I just glued a tip on, redid everything and then uh, next appointment. I actually did a new set on her. She was actually ready for a new set. Hey friends, so my client is coming soon. Teddy's freaking out and not letting me get ready for work, so I have to do my makeup in here. Um, she wants pink and it's super sparkly, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna do my makeup, which is just like the Fenty Beauty uh, blurred skin tint, and I this is too light for me and this is too dark, so I just mix it. Okay, and then I use the Rare Beauty. I use the Rare Beauty blush in the color Joy. Holy crap, little goes a long way. Like one tiny dot. I put it on the back of my hand and then I have to, to like, like use less because it's insane. I'm not trying to look cute. I'm <laughs> just trying to look not dead for my client. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm so tired. I don't sleep well. And also, I'm so dehydrated right now. My skin is like, I can tell that my skin looks dehydrated. Got the bare minimum of looks done. And now, my client's mom, so she's not gonna care what I look like. She gets it. She gets it. If you're a mom, a new mom, you get it. I'm just gonna throw my messy hair back into a messy bun, and then let's get pulling of products. Ooh, I'm like trying to decide what to do, and I just saw this set I did. Maybe I should do something like that. Oh yeah, I'm so glad I watched my pink. Let's take a look at them. Flamingo feather is such a good color. I feel like that's like the perfect color. 
And then I want to do more pink. So flamingo feather. I'm like trying to decide what other color to like put in with this. Here's the really nice pink. This glitter. Ooh. I'm trying to decide to, if I should add a little bit of purple. Oops, that really <laughs> was messy. Like purple and pink. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe not this one. This is Peony Crush. Oh, okay, I'm more feeling this. <laughs> yeah, super pink. Yeah, let's do something like that. And this is how that set turned out. I did film this and it is also already up on YouTube. Oh my God. I, earlier in the vlog, I was telling you guys that my page got, page got demonetized, but it's fixed. So it was a week, a whole week for literally nothing. I didn't do anything wrong. I was super upset, but it's all good now. So I'm gonna get some work done. Uh, I got some filming, some content um, creation to do. So I'm gonna do that and uh, yeah, post on Facebook a little because it's working now. Okay, so I'm gonna end the vlog. This was the last nail set I did in this video, a sculpted salon length nails. This is up on YouTube um, already, so make sure you guys check it out. Thanks so much for watching, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.